Hi everybody, good afternoon. I wanna make sure I'm in the right place really quick because I uh, just started the video and I didn't realize where I was. Hopefully I'm in the right spot. Give me two seconds. And today I'm gonna talk about recruiting and building a team and why it's so important. Um, if for those of you that want to um, maybe grow your business a little faster, Perfect, I'm in the right spot. Yay! Okay, friends, so today I wanna to talk about recruiting, why it's important to recruit, how to recruit, um, and how to work smarter, not harder. Sound good? Um, so I'm so excited to share this topic today. Um, this is actually a topic that I've been sharing with a lot of other teams, and I realize that I don't think I've ever done this training for my own team. So here we are. I might have done it um, in one way or another, but I thought I would have one main video and talk about recruiting all in one spot, okay? So this may be a little bit of a lengthy video. It's definitely not gonna be just five minutes, but it's gonna be very, very helpful, okay? So I wanna say that recruiting, and I have my notes, so I'm gonna be reading them, so if I look down, that's why. I wanna say that uh, my very favorite thing to do is recruit with Pam Birdschaff. Um, I find it thrilling and I believe um, that and I preach that recruiting fixes everything. Okay, um, I always, hold on one second, let me just mute my computer, there we go. So recruiting does fix everything in your business. So if your business is not where you want it to be, start talking about it um, and start recruiting and I'm gonna share with you how and why. But it really does fix everything related to your business, okay? So let's get started. I want to know, I want to do like a temperature check. Where is your belief with Pam Birdschaff? Okay, so do you believe that you are a good recruiter? Do you believe in our company? Um, what about our products? Do you believe in our products? Do you believe in what we stand for? Do you believe in our mission statement with Pam Birdschaff? In my mind, uh, recruiting from the heart means that I believe Deep down in my heart, a few things. I believe, number one, that Pampered Chef is an amazing company and I'm pinching myself that I actually get paid and paid very well to do this, okay? Number two, I believe that Pampered Chef has not only changed my life in the past, but it will continue to change my life in the future. I believe that my job is fun. <laughs> I have done a lot of jobs over my life and some I liked, some I tolerated. Um, but I can say deep down from the depth of, depth of my heart that I love, love, love my job, okay? Um, I believe that Pamper Shop can change others' lives right away and for the long-term good. And I also believe that no one loses by trying out this business. So do you share any or all of these beliefs or do you have even more beliefs about your business? If you have some belief issues, those are more likely coming through in your presentations at your parties or in your Facebook Live videos or in your parties on Facebook. Um, whether you're doing Facebook Live a video or talking to a host about a kit credit, sharing a, um, a game at a live party or talking while you're out and about, um, these belief issues may have some substantial, um, you know, just it might just have a, a way of kind of taking away some of your beliefs about what you're doing and why you're doing it. So you can only fake it till you make it for so long. So if you wanna do some quick assessing of yourself and your beliefs, um, you wanna allow yourself to try this out. Just jot down a few belief statements. What do you believe Pamper Chef is doing in your life and why? And how is it changing your life? Um, you want to start making a list of everything you are thankful for in your business. What are the positive things it has done for you? So write down at least 20 items and put them in a belief statement, kind of like I did up there. Um, you know, I believe that Pembroke Shop is an amazing company, all of those. Um, so come up with 20 of them. Sometimes our brains need to be reminded to focus on things that we are thankful for to strengthen our belief, okay? So we also need to watch our self-talk and not say things like, I'm not a good recruiter. 
Your, be your brain believes whatever you tell it. So don't, sab don't sabotage your success with negative self-talk, okay? So when I first started, I did not want to recruit you guys. Okay, I didn't believe that that was something I could do. I didn't realize the income impact it could have on somebody else's life. I didn't believe that it was a real job. Um, and I didn't believe that I could actually make real money doing it. So six months into the business, about six months in, I met a girl that wanted to sign up. I asked her why. <laughs> um, my director always told me that if we ever had someone interested in signing up to call her. So at checkout, when Jen said she was ready to sign up, I dialed my director. I had her on speed dial so, because I was always terrified that somebody was going to want to sign up at my party. So my director picked up. We set up a time that night so we can do a three-way call, and I was well on my way. Three months after that, I attended my first national conference because I wanted to go to Chicago with my new paper chef friends and shop, honestly. So that was my obsession after all, why I joined Pimper Shop. I didn't really care about conference other than the fact that they told me I would get lots of free products and have a um, fun time and free time in the new city. So I truly looked at it as a girl's weekend. Little did I know that conference would change my life forever. I went to a recruiting training because everybody else was and they told me I should. Um, and I learned so much. I watched all of these people walk across the stage and I thought to myself, if she can do it or he can do it, I certainly could too. So um, that following month, uh, that was in July, so in August of that year, I recruited six people and I promoted to director three months later. So I saw the big picture and I really got it. A couple years later, Brian lost his job and I remember that earning the Maui trip that year and on the plane, I said to him, how crazy is it that we get to go to Maui for free and you're unemployed? Um, God had another plan. So I added a show to my calendar each week, now doing three shows a week while working full time. And I was, I was able to pay the mortgage, the car payments, the bills, etc. cetera. Um, I also promoted to advanced director that year. So Brian found a job and now I had an extra $3,000 coming in. I told Brian, I'm quitting this day job that I hate. Um, I live with two lung diseases, obviously, you guys know that. Some of you don't. And burning the candle at birth, both ends um, was really, it was literally killing me. So I turned in my resignation in October 2013, and I haven't looked back. I now earn between five and $6,000 a month, and I don't share that to be boastful, but I want you to believe that this can happen for you too. I don't have some magic pill. I don't have, my, my calendar doesn't just fill up magically, um, and recruits are not just handed to me. They are not knocking down my door. I am being intentional and seeking them out and hearing, and this is how, okay? So let's talk about how we can practically recruit. Where are we going to find these recruits, right? Let me get rid of this text. So I don't have to tell you guys that um, there are actually two different ways that you can earn an income with Pampered Chef. So the first is sales. Obviously, we get paid commissions on sales. And the second is recruiting. So when you add new team members, you are building a team and you are working smarter, not harder, because you are earning money when you're not working. So just like selling products, I have a monthly goal for myself, um, whether it's two shows a week or um, earning $500 a month, you have to have a goal, okay? Recruiting should not be any different. The company actually has a goal for us and that's three, two, one. Have you guys heard of it? Three contacts a day, two shows a week, one recruit a month, and you should earn everything Pampership has to offer, plus an amazing paycheck. So I don't like to work to minimums. <laughs> so I actually hold myself to the three, two, two. Three contacts a day, two shows a week, and two recruits a month. Now, I believe when you're holding two shows a week, that should give you at least two new team members a month. So how do you find these new team members? I need to take a drink real quick, hold on. Okay, so the first way to find new team members are your hosts, okay? You should be asking every single host to join your team before, during, and after your party, live or virtual. You don't know, did you guys know that the kick credit is one of their host rewards? 
So some of you guys are watching this, you are actually one of my past hosts that I've recruited, right? So the host gets the host special of the month, free products, half price items, 30% off, up to 30% off, 10% off for the whole year, plus a kit credit. So these are some great ways to bring it up and some words to use if you wanna use them. Sorry, there's a plane going over. Okay, um, so really quick, I do wanna just uh, say something about the host. So some of you, I totally felt like this in the beginning. Um, when you recruit your host, all those bookings that you got should go to your host. Um, and you're probably thinking, oh my gosh, but what about me? I'm going to lose those parties. It's going to be okay because you're putting something positive out there and something positive is going to come in return. So just keep working your business. If your host wants to sign up, oh my gosh, what if they're your next director? You just have no idea. Okay. So talk to your host before the party. Did you know that you can join with one of our new consultant kits before your party? So ask your host before their party. Hey, have you ever thought about doing something like this? You can sign up with the kit. I'll still come and help you out and you'll be the host and the consultant. How does that sound? Okay. So maybe just send them a text or just nonchalantly ask them or just send them a quick message. Maybe come up with a fun picture. I don't know. Just ask them, ask them. Okay. So during the party, maybe um, she got two or more bookings. Um, you can tell your host after the party, oh my gosh, you got two, three, four bookings. You should totally join Pamper Chef and do these bookings yourself. And then you can actually get paid on all these parties and make money back. How does that sound? Or, um, you know, obviously they have a kit credit on their party. Um, so you can say, oh my gosh, you could use one of your kit credits to join. Um, and then you could do your own, your friend's parties. Or maybe your host suggested that she wanted to maybe try out Pampered Chef. My hair is all messed up. Maybe your host asked if they wanna, um, you know, they thought about joining. Um, maybe at the end, you, or maybe during the party, you could say something like, oh my gosh, um, Allison here has been thinking about joining Pampered Chef. Who would love to do Allison's first party? Just throw it out there. And all of her friends will, or his friends will raise their hands because they people love helping their friends out. Okay, um, and then after the party, oh my gosh, you earned $140 in free stuff. You can use $25 to $50 of your free money towards your new consultant kit. Which kit has most of your wish list in it? You guys, you never know who will join your team and who will be your next you know, director or really awesome consultant. You have no idea, okay? So what about the parties? Okay, you guys, it's that easy. Don't overcomplicate it. We overcomplicate it. Um, and the key is to just ask and be natural, all right? So what about at the party or on Facebook? Share your passion. It should tug at your heartstrings why you joined Pampered Shop and paint the picture for them, what it could do for somebody else, what it could do for them, um, and you know what they could get out of it. Tell your story, why you signed up, why you stay, what you're excited about. Share what Pampered Shop has done for you and what you have achieved because of Pampered Chef. Maybe you paid off all your credit card debt. How amazing would it be to share that? Okay, so um, share how much you can make on a virtual or live party. Do you make your job look hard? Are you making three or more recipes at a party? Are you running a virtual party with a million posts? You know, the other day we met um, Angie uh, Hospitality and she talked about how she just goes live on her Facebook parties for 30 minutes and has eight, nine hundred thousand dollar parties. It's that simple. So do you make it look hard? If you make it look hard, nobody's gonna wanna join you. But if you make it look fun and easy, everybody's gonna wanna join you. So as we create the desire for the product, we also have to create the desire for the business. Ask your customers, what would they do with an extra $500 a month? Or what about $1,000 a month? Would you go on vacation or start a college fund or make a mortgage payment? What about $5,000 a month? Would you start a retirement? Would you retire? <laughs> um, would you replace your day job income? So you have to share every level so you could share or show every type of person what it could do for them. So when I first started, my director would share her story about her kids. And I was like, well, I don't have kids, so how does that relate to me? Um, but then she started talking about shopping or paying off a car, and I totally related to that stuff. So at my parties, I talk about all my friends that have kids. They do this business to be a stay-at-home mom, but do this business to get out 
of the house and get away from their kids twice a week. So it's flexible. They can do it alongside any type of job or lifestyle. So how do you find your leads at a party or on a, a virtual party? Look for the rock star. Look for the person asking tons of questions or maybe they have everything. My friend Anthony told me he started using um, name tags again. And I used to do this a long time ago, but I just started doing it again. And you have them write their name and their favorite product. Or maybe on a virtual party, you can introduce them and ask them you know, what their favorite product is. Look for that person that says everything. They should be on your team. Okay, so be on the look. Uh, oh, and then on a virtual party, you could post something like, don't be camera shy, do a selfie with your favorite Pampered Chef product for an extra entry into our drawing. Be on the lookout when I do a selfie tomorrow with my favorite product, and then be sure to comment on my selfie too for bonus entries into our drawing. So then the next day you could post a selfie and maybe you're wearing your apron, or you have your favorite product and you share your story. Okay, so we all love wearing an apron for a living, right? So fun. And it's very flexible. Okay, then I'm very intentional about my closing and the ask me anything ticket game at my party. So, or the let's be nosy game. So most of you have heard this, but at the end of my party, I say, okay, everybody, we're gonna do like a lightning round and you can get lots of tickets. You could do this live too. So either live or at a party. Um, so we're gonna do a lightning round. It's called the ask me anything game. And in the back of your catalog, you may have a question on a tick on a label. You can ask me that question or you can ask me anything you want about my job as a paper chef consultant. So there's no questions off limits, so let's get started. Whoever asks a question, they're gonna get a ticket, okay? So then we just do the ticket game. So uh, maybe you make up labels with questions that you're comfortable with an answering. Or um, if you need a question, or if you need questions like, um, I have a whole list, but you could do questions like, can you earn a car? Can you earn a vacation? How hard is it to get bookings? Um, what are some other ones? What does a consultant make? How do I get started? How far do you travel? Do you have to keep an inventory? All those types of questions, okay? Just keep it simple. But this is gonna get the conversation started. Okay, so one last point before I close. Um, I wanna challenge you guys. Allow everyone their own yes or no. Don't decide for someone if they will want to do this business or not. Just ask them. Um, I can't tell you after, I can tell you after nine years in the business how surprised I've been with the amount of people and the wide variety of people that have joined our team, okay? We have college kids all the way up to great grandmas on our team, so nobody is counted out. Um, I have friends in the business that have seven kids. I have friends in the business that are doctors. I have um, lawyer friends that are in the business. Some people just wanna get out of their house and have something fun to do, okay? So we have no right to decide who is too busy too cool, too smart, or too shy to do this business. So let's all commit together to not make any judgments, but to let everyone have their own yes or no. So I recommend you guys watch this video and replay. Take a few things, maybe one or two things that you're gonna decide to do for your business and how you're gonna change around your recruiting. Um, and let's commit together um, to really just start asking, asking friends and family if they would love to do something like this alongside you. And if you're brand new, that is even more fun because then you get to learn together, okay? So um, what you do today will improve all of your tomorrows. So let's rock 2018 and recruit in record numbers. Okay, guys, have a great day. Bye.